Okay, okay. For this lesson, you need 18 um, index cards. Now, the index cards, you know, they're kind of bigger. So what I would do is I'd cut them in half. So I would get nine and cut them in half. That's what I would do. And then you have 18 because they can be a little bit smaller. So go grab those. Okay. I should have told you you need a marker, a pen, or a pencil. Grab that too. Okay. On the first index card, I want you to write point one. Write that on your first index card. Now, do you remember from the last lesson? What is that written as a fraction? 10 over 100, right. So on the next index card, right, 10 over 100. Now, here's a tricky question. Can we reduce this? Can we make this into something that equals the same thing, but can we write it differently? What if we, because we just need to divide them by the same number. What if we divide 10 by 10 and divide 100 by 10? What do we get? So if we have 10, here's our fraction, 10 over 100. Let's divide them by the same thing. 10 divided by 10 equals 1. What's 100 divided by 10? 10, right. So is 10 one hundredths and 1 tenth equivalent fractions? Yeah, because we divided them by the same thing. So on your next index card, can you write 1 tenth? Now these all mean the same thing, right? 0.1, 10 over 100, and 1 tenth, right? So you have three index cards now, three different ones, right? Put those in a pile, those three, because they all mean the same thing. Okay, on your next index card, write point zero two. What is that as a fraction? Two over 100, right? So write that on an index card. Can we make this smaller? Is there something we can divide both of these numbers by? Two, right? So what's two divided by two? One. What's 100 divided by two? 50. So does two one hundredths and one fiftieth, are they the, the same, are they equivalent fractions? Okay, so you should have three index cards now, 0 0.02, 2 one hundredths, and 1 fiftieth. Put those in a pile. Okay, our next one is 0.33. Write that on an index card. Now let's write it as a fraction. 33 over 100. Is there anything that we can divide 33 by and 100 by? No. So in your next pile, you're going to just have two flash card, two index cards. 0.33 and 33 over 100. Okay, grab another index card. Let's do 0.25. Okay. So that's on a new index card. Now let's get another index card and write it as a fraction. 25 over 100. Okay, can we reduce this? Can this be written down? Is there something we can divide them both by? 25, right? So 25 divided by 25 is one. And 100 Divided by 25 is 4. Okay, so on a new index card, write 1 fourth. And your pile of equivalent things is 0.25, 25 over 100, and 1 fourth. 
So those are all equivalent, so put those in a pile. Okay, let's do the next one. I just need to get another piece of paper. Okay, grab another index card. Here we go, here's the next one. Point five. Okay, let's write it as a fraction on a new index card. 50 over 100. Can we reduce this? Is there something we can divide 50 by and 100 by? About 50. So 50 divided by 50 is 1. What's 100 divided by 50? 2. So you have three index cards in this pile, 0. 0.5, 50 over 100, and 1 half. Okay, new index card, 0. 0.66. On a new index card, write it as a fraction, 66 over 100. Can we reduce it? Is there something that we can divide both 66 by and 100 by? Yes, we can divide it by 2. So 66 divided by 2. Well, what's 6 divided by 2? 3. And what's 6 divided by 2? 3. So 33. And what's 100 divided by 2? 50. So in this pile, you're going to have 3, 0. 0.66, 66 over 100, and 33 over 50. Okay, last one. Here we go. 0. 0.75. So that's your new index card. And now on your last index card, write it as a fraction. 75 over 100. Okay, so now you should have some piles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You have seven piles of index cards. Okay, now what I want you to do, you have some choices here. You can get a whiteboard marker and write a big number line out on the table. You can get sidewalk chalk and go write a big number line outside. Either way you want, but let me give you the instructions and then you can write a number line wherever you want. Whatever you do, you're going to write a number line wherever you want to write it, okay? Now, these are all between 0 and 1. So your number line is going to be between 0 and 1, okay? Then what you're going to do is you're going to place these in the order that they need to be in. So let's let's just do one together. What is the smallest? What's the very smallest pile of flashcards that we have here? It is the um Okay, 0.2 is your smallest one, right? Or 2 over 100 or 2 50th. So you're going to write, or you're going to put, sorry, you'll put your um, index cards right here closest to the zero. And you'll put all of them like that, okay? And you're going to fill it in. All the way, you're going to go from smallest to biggest. All right? Have fun.